stampers it's kim vogel with the basement bunch stampers and i'm here for another terrific tuesday video today i'm going to share with you a fun card that i created using the celebrate sunflowers bundle that is available in our current annual catalog and if you love sunflowers or you could even change the color of these flowers to make them like a gerber daisy you will love this bundle so it sells for $51.25 and it includes this awesome stamp set and then some awesome coordinating dies. Mine have already been well used. So I'm gonna, you'll see them here when I pull them in. Um, but it includes the, the outline and then also the one to actually cut out the daisy. Sorry, the daisy. I said Gerber daisies, <laughs> I meant the sunflower. And then you also have the image that will cut out the one down here on your stamp set. And then the leaves as well, the layering leaves, a detailed one and the outline one. And then your center for your flower as well. So I absolutely love this one. I chose today to focus on the sunflower look and more of like the country look. Um, now, if you're interested in purchasing this bundle, I have a link in the description of this video to my online store for you to be able to purchase this and any of these other supplies that you would like to be able to make the card that I am featuring today. So all, everything is listed there very easily, nice and neatly for you. So let's go ahead and get started making this card. We're going to start with a piece of five and a half by eight and a half um, with our uh, very vanilla cardstock. And it's, I already have this pre-scored, so we're just going to fold it in half. In advance, I stamped the sentiment, thanks a bunch, down here on the bottom. Now that comes from the Celebrating Sunflower stamp set. And I stamped that using the Early Espresso ink. And then I have a piece of the um, Very Vanilla cardstock cut four by four. And this I ran through the embossing folder using one of the textures, um, new embossing folders that is in our catalog. And I simply adhered this up here to the top. So we're gonna go ahead and seal that down um, using some of our new stamp and seal. This is the stamp and seal plus, which is similar to the fast fuse replacement. And I really like the, the strength of this. And I'm just gonna adhere this down here to the top. And the reason why I did that is so that I had an area to do my stamping, but then I had an area that had more texture and volume to it. So that's a little tip and trick there if you don't wanna have to worry about stamping on something that's already texturized. I then have a piece of the, um, this is some of the designer series paper from the In Good Taste. And I love this textured paper. You have all kinds of different like patterns and lots of different wood grains to pick from. I chose to use one of the wood grains, again, mainly because I was going for the, um, the look of the, the country look of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere this down to the middle here. So again, this is two by four and it'll fit perfectly in there. In advance, I have stamped one of the sunflowers. So I stamped this on the um, bumblebee cardstock and then I um, you stamped the, the big flower. So this is the big flower from the stamp set right here. So that's the big flower I stamped. And I stamped it using some Early Espresso ink and then running it through my emboss and die cutting machine to get this. And then I've also cut out the, the layered look. This is the more detailed layered look. And these two simply adhere together very nicely. Now, a little pointer that I've had when I'm trying to line these up is I look for some of these that are kind of curved down to the right. Um, and then I look for that here on my die as well. And it really kind of helps me be able to find exactly how they need to be lined up by looking for those that kind of go off to the right. Um, I know it might sound kind of silly, <laughs> but it works for me. Now, what I've been doing when I'm using the sunflower die is I've been only adding a little bit of adhesive right to the center of this. And then the rest of it, I've been letting um, kind of be up loosely. Now, if you don't like that look and you want it all to be adhered down, you could easily, got to find where those are again that go down, here we go. If you don't like that, you could easily use either our fine tip glue pen or some of our liquid um, adhesive glue, and you'd be able to glue that down completely. But I kind of like the layered look of it kind of like it's just laying on top of that and then um, what I did is I also used some of our scalloped lace trim and I thought this just kind of added again a nice little country burlap type look to this and I just cut a piece big enough to adhere right to the center and I'm just going to put a little strip of adhesive down and then I'm just going to put this right in the middle and if it's too long you can easily um, kind of cut the ends um, off of that Oops, let me make sure I get this to stick down here. 
There we go. I missed the adhesive altogether. And then I'm gonna layer this here with dimensionals. So you can see that that's kind of gonna stick out over the, um, the ends there. So let me get some of my dimensionals here to be able to layer this down. And I would put about three or four dimensionals on this. For today, I'm gonna actually just use three of them. And we're gonna cut those off or peel those off. I'm thinking about cutting because I think I need to cut that end off a little bit. So that's kind of been on my mind after I layered that down. So just gonna peel those off. And then this is just gonna go right in the middle of that. And then I'm just gonna kind of put that down a little bit and I am gonna trim that just at a little bit of an angle. Um, and I might do it at the other side as well. Well, maybe not, it's about right. But that's how quick and easy and simple that card is to create. This is actually one of my swap cards for my um, for my team meeting this month. And um, I hope that they enjoy it. It was so easy to make. And I love the, the sentiment or the huge um, element of that awesome sunflower. So thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this card. I hope you consider adding the Celebrate Sunflowers dies and stamp set and that awesome bundle to your collection. Remember, you can order it online 24 seven from my store. Just click on the description below and there's a link to my online store. I um, would also love to have you find me on Facebook to be able to share more ideas with you um, over on Facebook on my Facebook lives Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks everyone and have a great day.